Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the seventh day of the Festival of the Group Impact broadcast. My name is Alexander and I welcome you on behalf of the 2025 initiative and the Hekal group from Jerusalem. Today, we continue the work that started seven years ago. Is the Hekal group taken an initiative to invite the world group through the means of webinars to visualize and meditate, magnetizing the vision of the blooming garden of the Middle East. Since then, every year on the platform of the 2025 initiative webinars and weekly through own rhythm of meditations, the Hekal group been focusing this intention and the vision through persistent meditation. And today we come together again to empower this vision with the energies available to us during this festival week. And now we are physically gathered all together in Jerusalem around the table. And we invite you to join our soul. So let's visualize us sitting all in one expanding radiant circle of light. And I invite Kaya to lead us in the alignment. So let's breathe out our tensions and thoughts, clear our feelings, feel the warmth of our etheric unity. Sense the presence of the soul. And get united with the energies of love and light and will to good. Connect our individual centers in one bright beam of light with seven lights present. We expand that sevenfold light into greater light, connecting with a new group of world service. And see those greater lights igniting the network of light holding our planet. Connecting with the even greater lights. The centers of humanity.
we build the rainbow bridge. Draw this hierarchy. <clears throat> and see the triangle, Shambhala, hierarchy and humanity. Through the point of light that we call Christ. Connecting with the triangle Buddha, avatar synthesis and spirit of peace. We see the radiating energy <coughs> of the greater constellation pouring through to our planet. We see those points of lights as distribution points of this energy. And standing as one, we focus in the heart center of the group anchored here in Jerusalem. And we start our work. Hello everyone from Jerusalem, from the Hechal group. As we are entering the Aquarian age, we are moving towards understanding ourselves and the world in terms of energy patterns. When looking at the Middle East, in the wider context of our whole planet, the Middle East is often seen as the solar plexus center of the planet. It is the cradle of our civilization and spirituality. And today it is a dynamic arena for the potent forces at play, a focus point for the transmutation process, which will raise humanity's consciousness into the heart. Jerusalem, the symbolic city of peace in the middle of all of this, functions as an acupuncture point for the whole area. We can play a role in humanity's struggle from separation consciousness to unity consciousness by cultivating the new vibration of unity in this strategic spot. So we as the Hechal group understand ourselves as an outpost of the will to love in Jerusalem. We are working for over 20 years for this shift from separation consciousness to unity consciousness. One of the key tools with which we work is the model of the seven rays. Each of us, each group member, endeavors to embody one of the Ray qualities and to make it available to the group life. Each Ray is a vital energy enriching the group and energizing through the group the environment. We will now share some aspects of our work through the perspective of these ray functions. Each of us will speak for a few minutes and we invite you to close your eyes and listen meditatively from the heart, not only to the information, but also to the quality that will be expressed. So I hold the first ray 
of will and purpose in our group. I have a focalizing function, keeping the group in alignment to its chosen task. I listen carefully to the higher purpose that changes. So to any needed changes, and I keep the group process going and growing. I hold the second ray function in the group. When uh, we envision this vibration of unity spreading into the surroundings, we are faced sharply with a wall of separation which still exists between Jews and Arabs. This relationship needs healing. Let us see the healing spreading to the Middle East into this area that is bridging between East and West towards genuine relationships between human beings that will lead to a synthetic relationship between nations. I hold the third ray. My team function is to orient the group work in creating spiritual cohesion among the members of the group itself, among esoteric centers and other groups worldwide, in order to unify and to favor the precipitation of a divine plan on Earth. Another aspect of my function in the group is witnessing that the order that we would like to see outside must start from within oneself and within a group in order to reorient and create a new order in the world. Behind all forms, I work in silence is my motto. Talking about witnessing, I would like to share that this Christmas I dedicate myself trying to experience unity. Experiencing as something that can revolutionize our life if we are sensitive, sensitive to our soul, as the soul to the supernatural, if we open to the universal spiritual brotherhood a state of being that can frees, free us from all illusion and all forms of slavery. Because we are slaves of a division between the poor and the rich, between generation, father and sons, between whites and blacks, between races, between nationalities, even between cantons and cantons, we are slaves by freeing ourselves from old patterns and thought forms, by connecting from soul to soul, we can create the basis for a spiritual cohesion, for right and harmonious relations, which first of all must be witnessed inside before we can make the experience of recognizing each and every one as a cell of the one life we are part of. To build the unity, it is necessary to surrender everything. In the group, I hold the fourth function. As above, so below. 
As we become aware that as consciousness, we are part of one life at different degree of frequencies, at different degrees of manifestation, from the most refined to the most dense, we realize also our uniqueness as human beings of having the capacity and the free will to choose how to play our part in this one life, becoming co-creators of that reality that we would like to be present and manifested on our planet. From a point of stillness and silence within, we realize that all life in its essence is divine, that there is a perfect order and balance working out through all worlds of which planet Earth is just one. All is made of love, of light, out of a divine purpose and will. And within this cosmic scheme, we, as human beings, have a unique possibility to connect our human life with a higher order of life, to recognize and honor our divine nature and make it the point of our true identification as we gently adapt our instrument of perception and manifestation. It is a matter of imitating, resonating, responding, harmonizing our consciousness to the harmony of the cosmos, to the life expressed by those who guide and assist us on high a matter of hosting in our heart the infinite reality of love, of space, the reality of the Christ consciousness present everywhere in every human being, present in everything. And at the same time, allowing these higher potencies to work through us individually and as a group, offering our entire being as instruments of manifestation, of harmony, beauty, right relations into the world. This is the vision that the fourth function holds in the group consciousness, working together as a fractal in continuous transmutation and evolution on behalf of humanity, within the body of humanity, especially from this very crucial area of the world. I would like to add also a small poem that I was inspired to write attuning to our work. Let the light of the soul inspire and the love of the heart reunite. May the love of the one fill our hearts and minds and all our being so that true unity may be found as we move on and find our place and function in the one work is a pure reflection and expression of the heavenly being in whom we live, we move, we have our being. In gratitude to those who stand before us and show us the way. I hold the fifth way energy in our group. 
The function of this ray is to take the idea and give it a structure. It begins with a small group which opens herself in the service for the collective in studying this art of being what a sagioli called a group of best citizen. We here in Eichal, doing this for many years for the Jewish people and using the Jerusalem meditation is one of our tools. We are working towards, towards combining this, this experience of being a group of best citizen with the Jewish people yearning to become a nation among nations is a part of this movement from separation to unity. I hold the sixth ray function in our group. The sixth ray stands for unity consciousness. The sixth ray reunites all single members and makes the unitary vision become the group flag. And for me, the activity is always oriented in searching for the central value, which is the function I am holding in the group. And always seeking the synthesis among opposite, which is so needed in our work here in this area, in order to nurture the garden and the flowers of the Middle East. This leads me to an experience I once had with a young oak tree. One day when I was walking in nature, this oak tree sent a very strong energy towards me. And I heard the voice in me saying, I want you to give me some water. I gave it and, uh, the water and I drank a little bit myself. And again, I heard this voice. When we share the water, we are one. And now back to the garden in the Middle East, which needs to be watered and nourished on all levels to grow and glow. I hold the seventh ray function in our group. We are committed to bring all the high principles to the ground in our daily life expression. In each of our encounters and our fields of influence. The knowing that we are part of light workers net that are all committed and doing their best for the same purpose, empowers and inspired our daily service. Let us now do our meditation to which we invite all of you to be present with us here in Jerusalem.
Let us withdraw our attention inwards to a place of perfect stillness. And we breathe. We identify as the soul. Our mind is clear and focused. And our heart opens. Let us now, from this place of inner peace, weave our hearts together into one group heart. And let us synchronize our minds gently, slowly, creating together a receptive field. As a single unit, we stand as an outpost of light and love and will in Jerusalem. And we visualize our outpost as a six pointed star with a point in the middle. The star reflects a higher order, a divine sevenfold pattern. We visualize the seven ray qualities enter the seven points of our star, each ray as one color of the rainbow. See this rainbow nurturing the group with the energy of will, of love, of light, harmony, structure, unity of purpose, ceremonial order. We bring the seven energies into perfect balance. We become a living rainbow as a group. A sacred space in perfect geometrical order.
And as the Jerusalem outpost, let us now connect with our co-workers around the planet. We sense the love energy circulating from group heart to group heart, united in the common purpose. As the planetary spiritual group, let us take now one minute of silence to create a channel to the higher realms, widening the doors between the worlds. Through this door, let us now rise as a group, rise in consciousness, crossing into the world of the souls. We visualize ourselves being greeted by our co-workers in the higher worlds, human and deva. We unite our vibration with theirs. Our group heart responds to their love. Our group mind opens to their high thoughts. We take now a few minutes in silent contemplation, receptive for intuitive impression of the potential of the Middle East as a beautiful garden.
holding the high vibration. Let us now collect our consciousness back into the group, stationing ourselves midway between our co-workers on high and Jerusalem below. Let the energies radiating through us blend now into the quality of the will to love. Let this quality of the will to love fill our group field. As if it is a substance that we can collect in order to radiate. Just take a moment to contain and see how we can direct it through our heart centers from the point between the shoulder blades. Let us hold the will to love at a point of tension together with our higher co-workers. And now we radiate it out into the area of Jerusalem, Yerushalayim Al-Quds. See it nurture the unity consciousness in the hearts of all inhabitants. See the will to love being anchored through the many peace poles in the city. See unity consciousness now spread into the whole area of Israel, Palestine. See it fortify, especially those individuals and groups working for right human relations, for unity and diversity. Visualize people slowly waking up to the quality of real unity and diversity based on respect and equality. Let us visualize Jewish-Arab partnership. Let us visualize the potential of this healed relationship spread as unity consciousness throughout the Middle East, enabling a beautiful garden, rich in culture and well-being. And we may take a moment to visualize what each of us can contribute to it. A flower, 
a color, a fragrance, a bit of water to this garden. See the Middle East now weaving right relations with the rest of the world based on the highest good of all. And let us affirm this in our consciousness as we sound the mantra of unification imagining all people sounding it together with us. Humanity is one and we are one with it. We seek to love, not hate. We seek to serve and not exact due service. We seek to heal, not hurt. Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events and bring to light the love which underlies the happenings of the time. Let vision come and insight. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate and outer cleavages be gone. Let love prevail. <clears throat> Let all humans love. Let us extend the unifying energies from the human kingdom to the animals. To the plants. To the mineral kingdom. And to the subtle beings. And let us now conclude and anchor our meditation with the reciting of the great invocations in English, Arabic, and Hebrew, visualizing light, love, and power infusing the Middle East and the whole planet. From the point of light, within the mind of God, let the light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love, within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men. 
the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center, which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let the light and love and power restore the plan on earth. من نقطة النور في العقل الإلهي ليشاع النور في عقول الناس وليهبط النور إلى الأرض من نقطة الحب في القلب الإلهي ليتسرب الحب إلى قلوب الناس وليرجع السيد الآتي إلى الأرض من المركز الذي تعرف منها إرادة الله لتقود الغاية إرادة الناس البسيطة تلك الغاية التي يدركها المعلمون ويخدمونها من المركز الذي ندون بالجنس البشري لينتج تسمين الحب والنور ويختم على الباب الذي يقيم به الشر ليجدد النور والحب والقوة التسمين على الأرض Minikudat ha'or, asher bedat el, izron ha'or, el dat ha'adam, yered ha'or, al pnei ha'adama. Minikudat ha'ava, asher belev ha'el, תזרום האהבה אל לבבות אנוש. ישוב מורה עולם על פני האדמה. מן המרכז שבו נדע רצון האל, תנחה ותחליט את רצונות אדם. תחליט אותה מורי האנושות. יודעים ומשרתים. מן המרכז אשר נקרא המין האנושי, תוגשם תוכנית האהבה והאור, ויחתם הפתח אל הרבה. יהי רצון ויחדשו, או אהבה ועוצמה את התוכנית על פני האדמה.
Thank you. Holding hands around the planet. <laughs> Yeah, around the table and the planet. Yes. <laughs> so we extend this wider group embracement, hold the planet to in our hands. We invite you to share your thoughts and we could share in our circle impressions, comments and intention. And if anyone would like to Share anything, please raise your hand and we will unmute you. So we can hold space of silence, continue our group meditation, and if anyone would like to share, please. Hope ready the victory, now and always. Keep moving forward. Ease and grace are with you all. Gentle and passionate service. Thank you. Hi, this is Helen from Jerusalem. Um, I want to share, and I must say that my heart is full of light at such a point that I don't know what to share. <laughs> um, and still holding the image of uh, the Garden of the Middle East in midst of the turmoil, the present tur turmoil. Um, it's um, beautiful and uh, almost real image. Um, I would like to share um, about something personal that I, I had, I made a, I went for a visit in, uh, in to a, um, a Palestinian city about two weeks ago, Ramallah, which is uh, really the, the center of, uh, of um, the um, nascent Palestinian state 
and um, I saw there a beautiful, modern, open city, a city where there's coexistence, religious coexistence between uh, Christians and Muslims. And we visited there and we were welcomed by the um, Palestinian, which is not the Palestinian Authority anymore, but uh, the, the representatives of the Palestinian state that is about to be born. Um, I saw the yearning and uh, the will to talk, to cooperate, to stop violence, to stop um, aggressivity, and not only physical, but uh, also in words, in thoughts. There was what we call the will to good. There was the will to good there. And I'm so moved talking about it and even thinking about it, remembering what I felt two weeks ago. Um, I just wanted to share that. And I'm honored and happy that it's happening in my lifetime. Um, this is what I wanted to share. And I wanted also to mention something else that uh, at the same time I heard for the first time, although it's all already, it exists for more, uh, more than a few years, a new time, town which is called Rawabi, which means uh, the town of the hills. A new Palestinian town that has been built by someone by the name of Bashar al Masri. And Bashar al Masri is, <clears throat> is a um, member of, uh, uh, of the Ashaf, how you go? Um, PLO. Of the PLO. He has been in prison in Israel and then released and then went to the States and, uh, and uh, got to be a a businessman and a real estate guy, and he uh, he took all his uh, you know money with other people, and they built this town. And there's also is there are also Israeli um, Israelis who are uh, who, who are uh, his, his co partners. His partners, yes. And it's interesting. Uh, to see that those, uh, there's one Israeli guy that they spoke about, I don't remember his name, but uh, he, was, uh, he was a soldier at the time when, when this uh, Bashar al-Masri was, uh, was imprisoned. He was a, one of the soldiers, you know, who, uh, who helped, uh, um, who, was fighting, who was fighting the, the PLO uh, act activists. So there's something, something, happening and that I was not aware of and I am aware of now and I am grateful that of this awareness and I want to share it. Thank you. And thank you all for being here. <laughs> Helen, this is Margot speaking from Victoria on the west coast of Canada. Your story really touches and warms my heart, all of our hearts. I can feel it all the way here. Thank you. Thank you, Margot. In, in the meditation, when we were focused on the garden of peace in the Middle East, 
this beautiful garden. And whether we were watering it or offering a flower or a color, the quality of this, the, the substance of the quality of this image became so much more substantial. The, the vision of this, the idea, the thought form of this in the etheric plane is so much more substantial. And to hear your story, Helen, just, just underscores that that it's, it's happening, it's happening now in our time and it's happening around the world in other forms. Thank you, Hekal, and thank you for sharing your functions in your star work mm -hmm. and 2025. Uh, Pat Kirshner is here with me as well. There are four of us from the Canadian star on the call with love and blessings to all. Greetings to the Canadian yes. star. Yes. <laughs> Hi, this is Afat from Jerusalem. I'd also like to thank you everyone. It's been a very powerful experience and thank you all who came here. Um, I would like to share with them um, few example of cooperation between Israel and Palestinian, the really simple people who doesn't want to wait for the political uh, and all these um, leaders which are not moving in the right uh, direction. So we really can see a, a cooperation uh, among, for example, a young people which are joining a project which call uh, Racing for, uh, for Peace. It's a group of uh, young people in the age of 15 and 16 who are joining a race in, in Berlin and in Paris under the flag of Jerusalem. Not Israeli, not Palestinian, but Jerusalem citizen. Uh, in this year, 2020, the race will be here in, in Jerusalem. Uh, another uh, point that I would like to uh, emphasize is now in this week when it's uh, Christmas and Hanukkah, uh, in many places where Jewish and Arab people live together uh, and Christian, you can walk in the street and you can see uh, the the um, this sample of the Islam the so the, uh, uh, the, the half the, like, moon the what? half moon with a star and with a menorah so without a big declaration and without the uh, ceremonies you just walk in the street and it gives kind of sense of uh, no normality if I can say. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Richard, you are unmuted. Please share with us. I think Richard lost connection. Hello. Hi. Thank you, everybody. The heart is very full. And for sharing these most powerful stories. Here in Australia, um, in the last little while, we've been scorched with great heat and bushfires throughout um, that's created much suffering and loss. And in this little part of the world where we are in, We've been blessed in the last few days with rain and from a smoked filled atmosphere and burnt ground and no greenery on the grass, 
the rains that came, just a little bit of rain overnight, straight away the the sprouts of greenery in the grass come, the atmosphere is cleared and the blue has returned to the sky. And I, as, as we see this and we sit in meditation together and in this most powerful auspicious week, sharing our subjective consciousness, to me it feels like that is like the etheric rain that is just nourishing and these stories that we're hearing today coming out of Jerusalem is like those sprouts of grass that are coming up in the etheric world from our um, sitting together in silence with open hearts, open minds and um, being in unity. So I want to thank everybody um, in Jerusalem and all people that are joining us today on this webinar around the globe and subjectively around the globe. Thank you. I would like to share about another initiative that's happening to bring together the manifestation of this vision of the Garden of the Middle East blooming. This initiative that started as a initiative of world servers, of people who have been working for peace for years, they came together to draft a treaty to create the zone of uh, free of weapons of mass destructions in the Middle East. And for years, just a small group been working to create this draft treaty and they presented it to several governments. And now this draft treaty to create the zone free of weapons of mass destructions been discussed at the United Nations in November in a special at a special conference where governments of all countries except government of US and Israel were present and they started this long process of coming to an agreement finding the solution how this could be reached and the next conference on this topic will be happening again in New York in May with the United Nations and this initiative that started just as a small group, as many of our groups coming now around the world, they asked for meditative support for this initiative and keeping in our meditation visualization that this come true and that on the long run, this region would become really a garden of peace. And a garden that doesn't have separations and where people live together in unity. Mark, please unmute yourself. You are muted on your end. Um, this is Katya, and I um, just wanted to share the quality that came through meditation to potentiate with this energy of a greater Capricorn for the next seven years for us to hold and to use. And the quality was wanting nothing for separate self. Thank you.
Can you hear me now, Mark? Yes, we can hear you. Good, another victory. Hearing the stories of peace um, breaking out <laughs> and healing the gardens of possibility is uh, has uh, changed uh, a rather gray day in Sarasota, Florida to the sun now shining. And also in my heart, um, what a wonderful celebration this is. The victory that is that is not only possible, but that is being won. I want to recognize the, uh, the labor that it took for our webcam group to show up in Jerusalem. It was really a labor of love, and I've been part of that from a distance. I just want to recognize how much love and labor has gone into this day by, by everyone, of course. And a word from the masters in meditation um, went something like this. Know that you, we are already the victory and always keep forward, keep moving forward. Ease and grace are with you all. Gentle, passionate servers. You are so very loved. And I believe we are so. What a precious gift it is to be all together right now in heartbeat. And thank everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Brother Mark. Thank you. Hi, this is Bishop Malon Willis of the Madonna Ministry. And there's three of us bishops here on the call with you today. We're really happy to be here to share this moment with you. And we just want to let you know that the Madonna Ministry, which is uh, founded by Mother Mary, is with you in prayer, in our hearts, in our presence, in our energies, to bless you on our journey together as keepers of the garden for the world, for Jerusalem, for all people. And we just want to let you know that you are held and loved beyond measure in the heart of the mother. And I thank you for today. It was incredibly beautiful. The energy was powerful. And I know that it set the tone moving forward into 2020 and our next uh, 10 years. So thank you for this with love and blessings. Thank you. Thank you, Melan. There is a comment from uh, Tasha. Thank you to the Hekal group for a living example of embodiment of the qualities of the seven rays and how those qualities can be used to a focused higher purpose. This was a powerful meditation. Thank you, Dasha. And another comment from Olga. Good evening from Greece. Thank you, Hekal. There is a lot of light protection over you and above. Is there any spiritual group working the same direction from Palestine, Tinian side? Blessings. Yes, we wish very much. There are a few uh, groups in Palestine uh, that are a little bit uh, working also spiritually. Um, they are very busy with holding, um, developing their own sense of self. So uh, it's not time for them to cooperate at this time because they really need to focus on themselves. Um, yeah. I just added to the handout section this draft treaty and a brochure of the organization which called Middle East Treaty Organization that I mentioned. Um, so this is uh, initiative that I forgot to say it's this grassroots group is actually Israeli Iranian group. Huh? Israelis and Iranians working together 
to drop this treaty. And we want to acknowledge um, the creator of this beautiful image that we used of the uh, flower. It's, uh, it's a diagram of, uh, of a star, of a, a cluster of stars. And it has been created by Antonella Nobilio. And did you put the, the link in the chat box? Uh, not yet, I will do it now. If anyone has anything else to share, please raise your hand and we will unmute you. Sarah, you are muted on your end. Please unmute yourself. Yes, now we should hear you. Oh, dear brothers and sisters. This was such a beautiful meditation. I'm in Australia. And in the, in the meditation, I just saw Arab and Jew just looking at each other with love as friends, just on an individual basis, just one-to-one, -one, creating that intimate individual link as friends. And then holding hands and sitting at a table, pretty much like the, the last supper table, Arab Jew, Arab Jew, Arab Jew, around the table in beloved brotherhood and sisterhood. And I also saw and felt us all as the ocean, especially around this area, all washed and merged into one beautiful living unity. So I deeply thank you for this beautiful meditation and feel the depth and power of it spread throughout the land where you are. Many blessings. Thank you, Sarah. I just shared in the chat window the link to the Planetary System uh, website uh, that Uta mentioned. And there were a number of comments in the chat, uh, in the question section saying thank you and uh, sharing the gratitude. I want to add one more impression to the group Chalice. Being here in Jerusalem, sensing the very ancient light hidden here, veiled. At the same time, we can see many walls and fences that in a way it's just a reflection of the inner separation that's existent not only within this nation but within humanity altogether. For reasons unknown to us as humans, this place became the concentration of the highest density where many problems of humanity get focused and manifested. But this is a physical manifestation. The separation is, exists on many levels within each of us. And I think if we 
look into those walls of separation that we have within while we work with this energy of the festival week and invoke that energy using the power of our group circles to dissolve those separations. And may I suggest that we as esotericists, first of all, look into this wall of separation that we have within us between the higher and the lower. We naturally seek, seek the light, forgetting that there is a lower part where the light doesn't penetrate. And in a way, it's our responsibility and our opportunity to embrace that lower part, break the walls. And as in the Scorpio labor, Hercules kneeled and lifted the Hydra to the light, the same each of us should kneel and lift that Hydra, lift, connecting, linking the higher and the lower within. And when we do, will do that, as disciples and as a groups of disciples. We can shift on the causal level what creates the manifested walls of separation that we see here in the Middle East and in Jerusalem, so strongly present. Thank you all very much for participating, for being with us here in Jerusalem. Yes. We are weaving spiritual airways, lines of light and love, connecting all parts of the world. Lots of gratitude. And as we prepare to enter to the final day of the festival week, we invite you to join tomorrow the um, last webinar of the 2025 initiative of the Silent Circle Meditation at noon GMT, where we will focus on the quality of the seventh ray in our Silent Circle Meditation. And then at 7 p.m. GMT, we invite you to join the New Moon webinar, New Moon Meditation webinar to support meditatively the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And this time under the energy of Capricorn, and especially under the energy of the greater Capricorn, we will bring our focus to the goal 17, partnership for the goals. And right after that, there will be a global silent circle meditation organized by the mm -hmm. Festival Week Preparation Initiative, where members of 12 groups have been working together to prepare many activities happening this week. And tomorrow, all these this groups and many initiatives will come together for final silent meditation where together we could meditate and project our intention as a planetary server, intention to work for humanity for the next seven years, preparing the way for the externalization of the hierarchy and the reappearance of the Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Sasha. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Gratitude well, to the 2025 you. initiative. Yes. Thank you.